Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with an overview of the free update 1.5. If you're looking for a video with all the animals of the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, I would highly recommend you to click that i button in the corner so you can go right away to that video this video is all about the free update 1.5 so without further talking let's jump into it so the first thing being added in the free update is the option to have multiple entrances throughout your zoo you can have this in franchise mode career mode sandbox mode wherever you want to one thing to do keep in mind is that you will need to buy a spawner and a spawner is actually really expensive so it's 150,000, and then you also will need uh this entrance of your zoo but this one is only ten dollars but yeah this spawner is 150,000. so do keep that in mind if you're going to play around with multiple zoo entrances and yeah, well, you need the spawner. So that is definitely good to mention for playing with franchise mode or the career mode. So also being added in the free update are billboards. There are way more billboards that I am showing you right over here. There are actually really, really big billboards. <laughs> As you can tell, 60 meters. 32 meters. I don't know if people will be using those. They're a humongous. Uh, but yeah, there are tons of different ones. There are lit ones and there are normal ones. And that is for nighttime. So when it becomes nighttime, the ones that are lit will light up. And this one is not lit. So that is the difference between the two. Ouch, my eyes. <laughs> uh, and if we unpause the game, you will see that you are also able to uh, add videos onto the billboards, which is actually really cool. And uh, what you can do, you can uh, click the billboard, which one you want to um, want to use. Obviously, you can create your own uh, pictures. So you can uh, go to uh, this folder, Documents, Frontier Developments, Plan is your User, Media. And then you can add these uh, type of uh, pictures or video formats. And uh, then you can use your own pictures, obviously. And they did add like a lot of the uh, the brands, of course, of the shops and those kind of things. But you also have the conservation sign pictures and you also have all the animals. So the giant otter, the panda, etc. All the animals are also clickable. So you can use bigger billboards if you want to as an educational sign. And you can also select an advertisement target. So you can either select the habitat, a shop exhibit, right a station so yeah when people then see your billboard they will be attracted to uh, for example a certain habitat in this case that would be the uh, polar bear habitat and uh, you can accept that and then the, they will be attracted more towards that certain habitat for example one thing i am a little bit disappointed of is the fact that you cannot change the pictures of the educational sign so I was actually hoping, I'm a simple, a simple human, <laughs> I was actually hoping that we just would be able to just only change this picture and not the entire billboard. So that is a little bit disappointed for me, like, I, I, it makes sense, this is a billboard, so you're changing that, and this is like the educational sign that you would have normally in the game. Uh, but yeah, I was just hoping that I could pick like my own giant panda picture and just update that one instead of this picture, but still have this information underneath it. So yeah, I do hope um, that maybe uh, Frontier can provide us with like this information so we can easily create that ourselves. Uh, but other than that, it, it, I think it's a very uh, nice thing to see these billboards coming into Zoo with free update 1.5. So what also is being added with the free update is staff traversable area map. So you go to heat maps right over here and then you select your habitat traversable area for your staff. So staff traversable area right over here. And then as you can see, the area turns blue right over here. Now, in this case, other than that, you have to select an animal in a certain habitat. This one already works for everything. So for every habitat. So if I go to here, 
then you can tell that I did not really do my job well and uh, the keeper is not able to walk here in this habitat um, but it is able to walk in this half of the habitat so it is definitely a very useful thing a very useful map wait this is looking really ugly okay there we go <laughs> Uh, so definitely very, very useful to uh, be able to check where your staff member is able to walk or not. So something else we added with free update 1.5 are the gharials. They will be able to dive deeper in your habitats now, which is actually really cool. Now this habitat was not really made for that, so I tried to lower it down. And let's have a look if we are able to see any uh, gharial <laughs> dive down but i see one here but i don't really uh think that that one is going to dive let's have a look well we do have this little baby gharial diving deeper right now i'm not entirely sure if the bigger one is also able to it did say so with <laughs> with the information of the animal so i'm not entirely sure we now have the male as well in this habitat so let's have a look if it's uh, gonna dive deeper or not so it does look like that it might have to be a little bit bigger maybe a little bit wider for those uh, uh adult gharials to dive down but uh, just so you know that the gharials are being updated so if you're going to build a habitat for them keep that in mind that they're also being able to dive deeper in the water now so something else that has been added is a very very nice feature it's the multi-select tool they actually tried to update that one the last time but that didn't really go well for some people so they removed the option and now they came back with a new solution and this is the new solution so you can either select your whole training center right over here or you can select them uh, or multiple animals by clicking these chat boxes and i think this definitely is a good way and a good solution for being able to multi-select your animals especially also in franchise mode and the career mode so it's not only in sandbox mode but this works for every mode in the game right now so one thing they added is that you're able to get a reward when you're playing a scenario or a timed scenario and uh, each scenario comes with like an animal and when you are able to either unlock that map you will get this stone version and when you uh, well, get to bronze, silver and gold etc you will be able to get these rewards as well. So these statues, I'm not entirely a fan of these textures to be completely honest. I was in all honesty hoping that either the stone one or the bronze one would be like these textures right over here because I absolutely love these type of textures in the game. These are actually also called bronze statues. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, this is the bronze color you're getting. And this one, the stone one, uh, I thought at first that it was maybe uh, more looking at like the classic theme, but unfortunately that's also not the case. Uh, I would love to see more consistency in the statues, in all honesty. Uh, I, I think I've been mentioning it since, since one of the earliest DLCs that we got with the statues and um, different type of statues per DLC, different themes. It's all fun and all cool, but I just noticed that I just really love either classic or the bronze ones. Like this one is, is different, like this one is the, the same statue as here, but this one is recolorable, so I could also see maybe like this statue then coming in recolorable version but it's a different type of statue and I would love to see just more consistency in the amount of textures in the game with the amount of uh, statues and I would just love in general to have all animals all statues in the classic one and the bronze one I think these are the most generic ones that you can use for just many different type of zoos or maybe they can just pick different type of stack textures for every DLC but then for all the statues I mean I, I would just love that but yeah <laughs> so these statues are free for you to get if you're playing these scenarios and the time scenarios and uh yeah there are like tons of them I don't have any everything unlocked uh so I will just show you these textures but there are a lot of them in the game so now a really cool feature that is being added is the water visual setting UI and this is going to give you the option to be able to recolor your water, which is absolutely fantastic. If I'm correct, this is the standard watercolor. So, okay, how to select your water. First thing you can do is go to your terrain and select the water button. 
or you can now have a remove water button by the way uh, so you can select the water easily like so but you can also that is how i figured it out <laughs> you can also just click it from underneath though so, so either way you are able to select your uh, water and then you can go to the color options uh, so this one is already the recolorable water. So this is the the water that the natural water color. And now if we deselect it. You can select a color right over here, and you can basically do whatever you want to do, <laughs> like make it really weird. And then you have the transparency. So when I go up, you can look really well through. When I go down, it becomes really, really dirty. Uh, so that is really cool. Let me just show you a few examples of what I did. So right over here, we had the Siu Habitat, and now we're using the natural color. And if I deselect it, I have this uh, this more greenish water. It's still not, it's, it's really a search for what is like very natural for their habitat. Uh, but it definitely makes sense sometimes to change the water color. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this feature, but it definitely makes sense sometimes you just want a different water effect. Like for example, right over here we have the giant otter habitat that I built with the underwater viewing. So this is the natural color and if I choose, if I change this to a more green color, you can really tell the difference and I, I feel like this just feels way more natural. Uh, for their environment uh, now the only downside is like we can obviously cho choose the transparency right over here so you can really make it like, really dirty and this does not affect the dirty uh, cleanliness of your water so this is more uh, visual than it's actually being this dirty but it looks really cool seeing the otters like this but yeah, there's just one thing from the top, it will also change. So that is definitely something to keep in mind that you're paying attention to this because sometimes it may not look as realistic as you want it to be. But this one is, I think, the best example to give you guys because I remember when I was building this one and I was talking about the fact that the water in Piney Diza, if you look up the videos or the pictures, looks way more blue greenish and I tried to resemble that with like these uh, ice blocks underneath it but obviously that just wasn't possible and it was really with this habitat that I realized like oh man I wish it would just look way more realistic like you would see in real zoos like obviously the color of the water does not resemble in real life their natural environment but in zoos, you really sometimes see that really blue greenish color. So right now, boom! This is almost the exact color that you would see when you would be in in Pidey Diza, for example. It might be a little bit different, obviously. As I said, like it's it's hard to really pick the right color for it. But this definitely looks way more realistic. Just look over here. It looks really beautiful. And in, in general, like the zoos that I know are just not that clear. Like I can understand that people are like, yeah, but I want to see through uh, the water better. But in all honesty, in many zoos that I know, at least let's say the Dutch zoos, the water really isn't that clear. It really feels more like this. Like obviously you would love to see the polar bears then more up close right over here. So you really get that realistic feeling. But <laughs> maybe that's a little bit too much to ask still. But yeah, I think this just looks insanely good. I really, really love this feature. Now the only thing is, just like I mentioned, uh, just go up. <sighs> Would the water really look that green from the top? I'm not entirely sure. So it's it's really, I think, trying to find the balance between uh, the color that you're giving your water and uh, uh, for the underwater viewings and the color that your water is from the top. It, it's definitely a thing. It, it doesn't bother me that much. I think this it's maybe a little bit too bright. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think of it, but it's definitely a lot of fun 
to play around with these watercolors. I think this is definitely the best thing, in my opinion, that is being added right now in the free update. Uh, next to that, we obviously also have timed a uh, new time scenario being added, but I'm not going to show that one in this video. Uh, time scenarios we already have, but I might be playing them on the channel because I actually never touched them. So that's definitely a thing. <laughs> So as you can see, the developers changed the UI a little bit. You now have this tab right over here with the timed scenarios. So you have the career mode, AKA the story mode right over here. Challenge mode is the offline franchise mode. You have franchise mode, sandbox mode, and my zoos right over here. Just quickly about the statues, just go to your career tab right over here and every map has its own statue. So this one is the lion, this one is the orangutan, giant panda, wolf, etc. And the same goes for the time scenarios. This one has a flamingo, this one has the saltwater crocodile, the Chinese pangolin, a kangaroo, etc. So these are all the statues that you are able to unlock with either the career scenarios or the time scenarios. And now we go back to the option that you're able to now upload your franchise zoo, for example, to the workshop or be able to play it as a career mode or be able to play it as a sandbox mode. So how to do that? You just go to my zoos and then you go right over here to the top franchise and then you can see your desert zoos. It, it, <laughs> desert zoo is my franchise zoo, but obviously you will see your franchise zoos. I only have one. And then you can see, you can go to the franchise, you can open it as a challenge or open it as sandbox. And obviously if you open it as sandbox, you can later on upload it to the workshop as well as a sandbox zoo. So that is definitely a really cool feature also coming to Planet Zoo with the update 1.5. So yeah, please do let me know what you guys think of this free update 1.5 update coming next to the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Make sure to leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely got you covered. I mean, uh, we're gonna fill a lot here in Little Asia with the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, so I'm really excited for that. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all those other social media pages. I will link those down in the description below. And yeah, I just really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!